chapter 34 of the video tutorial how to set up an online shop with Dreamweaver. Fine, we've built a big deal of what is our shop. There are many things to be done as well, but what would be the working shop, so to say, could be said to be ready. I've compiled in this document some of the ideas you requested me so that uh, I can answer it back to you. It grows little by little as every day you ask me for new things. So the idea is uh, we will complete this progressively and we will delete their requests as they've been satisfied, so to say. For it, uh, one of the things you requested me, which is here, delete a product from the table trolley, which is one of those really useful things. Um, let's do that because uh, with the knowledge we've got by now, it will be just uh, a blink, not much more. We go to the trolley, we are going to add a couple of products, the shoes, and uh, nope, I've got just products in that category. Well, we add these shoes too, okay? We've got all these products and I want to delete that product. Okay, uh, what we will do is uh, going to the page trolley list. Let's go there. I'm gonna close all those I've got here. In trolley list, remember I've got here the the delete. You can change this for an image or whatever you want, okay? Fine, what we will do now is creating a link to eliminate that product we've got in that line. Okay, there we have a product which is identified by an ID as you can see here in, in the row. Remember in the query obtain data trolley is extracting for us all the data in the trolley whose user is the one I indicated and whose transaction finish equals zero. That is, are in the trolley right now, okay? So, given the delete, we will write here trolley delete dot php and we will send it a parameter that will be record ID equals and it will be the int counter. Fine. It's the line we want to delete. Uh, we could indicate the item too but we will give it the, the line straight. Uh, I will explain it. In the table trolley I 